Right, I don't know how well this is going to work. Is this even recording? Yes, I think it is. I'm on my new camera, guys. And even watching it on the viewfinder, like, the movement is crazy. Like, it's like real life, moving really quickly. I need to be looking at this, not the viewfinder. On my old camera, the viewfinder was at the top, so it looked like I was always looking at the camera, but now it's like to the side. So if I'm looking at the viewfinder, you're going to be able to tell that I'm looking at the viewfinder. Anyway, I need a drink because it's taking me about 20 minutes to set this all up. I got a coffee first and I haven't even took a sip of it. So I need to do that. Well, it's not really coffee. It's like a bloody milkshake because I only have half shot of coffee. I get a small iced caramel latte with half shot of coffee. This looks like more than half shot though. I feel like this is a bit dark for me. No. Mm. Is that a bit strong? Might be slightly too strong. Um, no. I think we're going to be okay. I can't tell you how excited I am to be filming this video. Like, I feel like I need... Oh, it's bobbling. I feel like I need to get all comfy. Even though I'm absolutely sweating in this hoodie because the sun is literally beaming into my car and my car is black. So, I am probably going to overheat and my camera's probably going to overheat as well. But... I've not had like a sit down, cash up, conversation kind of video in so long because I just did not want to address what was going on in my life at all. I think my way of dealing with it was ignoring it. <laughs> but it actually got to the point where I couldn't ignore it anymore because it got that traumatic. But we're not going to talk about that first. We're going to talk about the fact I've been reading again like what the hell i have not read in years i've not read since my a levels english lit that's how long i've not read in and in the past like three weeks i've nearly finished two whole books sorry i am gonna have to keep looking at the viewfinder to make sure it is still recording because there's so much going on and i don't know what it all means it is still recording though okay i've read dark places which isn't as sinister as it sounds, it's a crime book. That was probably, probably give that like a six. Like it was really good all the way through and then the ending just ruined it. And so far, this is what I'm reading the past like two weeks. The Haven, it's so good. Like I've literally got about that much left of the book, which is really annoying. So I was meant to take it on holiday with me, but I just couldn't put it down. This is, well, I can't really rate this yet because I've not finished, but so far it's like, a nine like this one's so much better than the first one but i think i'm going to carry on reading because it actually de-stresses me i've needed that coffee so bad i never used to drink coffee until i started working at selfridges <laughs> that's nothing to do with the job i just i don't know i just didn't really actually no because i did drink it a little bit at flannels did i, I feel like i did used to get the odd starbucks at flannels but i've always just had half shot because i don't actually like the taste of coffee i like the caramel and the milk i don't particularly like the coffee i don't mind it when it's got a little bit in but at selfridges in our canteen they do the best iced coffee i've ever had in my whole life and it's only like 2.95 so i kind of got addicted to that i also got myself a cinnamon bun warmed up it's probably not warm anymore because it has taken me so long to set my bloody camera up but i do love a cinnamon bun anyway hi guys i hope you're all well oh, because i'm really well and life is good which i did express in my last video my birthday video but so much has happened the past few months i feel like it's time for a catch-up and i'm in a much better place now where i feel like I am ready to talk about everything. Okay, so I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know what I'm going to say. I don't know how I'm going to say it. I'm just going to go with the flow and hopefully it turns out not too bad. <laughs> Can't promise anything though. So where do I start? I wish I had a friend here with me right now to help me navigate my way through this conversation. <laughs> but... I'm not going to say any names because that's just unfair. But if you know who my previous relationship was with, then that's just tough on them. They made their bed. Now you've got to fucking lie in it. <clears throat> Let's talk about the topic 
of breakups first. I broke up, no, sorry, let me rephrase that. My ex broke up with me, uh, which hurt my ego just a little bit. But it was for, well, at the time, it was because he didn't trust me. He didn't trust me. He didn't like my job. I thought that I was doing things that I shouldn't have been doing. It was just like an ongoing thing. We weren't in a very good place for a few months prior to the breakup. So I actually took myself away from living with him and lived with my family for a few weeks. All my stuff was still at the house that I was living with him. I'm going so off track. Um, Maybe I'll explain all that after but i dealt with my breakup very privately which i think was the best thing that i could have done and i looking back on it now i wouldn't have done it any other way obviously like my closest friends knew and my family but that was about it i didn't address it on my instagram um my youtube videos i just didn't address it at all because i didn't want to like i don't know whether i was embarrassed or whether I was scared that if I addressed it, everyone would then know he was single and would he would then, like, move on. I, honestly, I don't know what it was, but I just didn't. And everyone deals with breakups in different ways. And when it first happened, like, I was scrolling on TikTok and it would be like, you need to go no contact and um, this is bad for you after you break up, this is good for you. And there's so much shit on social media. I had to block it all out. I didn't want to listen to any of it because... There is no right or wrong way of dealing with your emotions and what happens after a breakup. And our way of dealing with it, when I'm look, now I'm looking at it, definitely wasn't a good way of dealing with it because it just dragged it out for way longer than it needed. But we kept in contact and we kept talking for literally months and months after we broke up and I don't know whether it was a ta an attachment thing from both sides like we just couldn't let each other go for me it was my first serious relationship so I feel like it was a big change when we did break up because he was the first person ever to be consistently in my life talking every single day seeing each other every single day living with each other so it was like a big change for me big big change like moving back home was a massive change like I love my family so so much like they're literally amazing but it was just weird it was such a weird thing to go through while still being in contact with that person every single day like I said everyone deals with breakups differently and when I thought I'd got through the worst of it I then found out that he had been cheating on me whilst we were still together for like months <laughs> months and months so yeah that is where we're at now i have been cheated on <laughs> like i'm laughing about it now but it wasn't funny at the time okay like i was literally in pieces because the betrayal like the feeling of betrayal is just beyond me i think that's what bothered me the most like i just felt so betrayed because it was the one person that i thought would never ever ever do something like that to me and i felt like so blindsided by the fact that we broke up because he didn't trust me and he didn't like me being around guys at work so obviously the majority of my client well it's not obvious but the majority of my clients are male and i style ma male Pe pe male people i style men because i'm just better at men's fashion um yeah he blindsided my me by all that i moved back home to give us space to help us grow and help the relationship and he obviously chose his time very wisely by sleeping with someone else in our bed so yeah I don't trust men. I don't trust a single man on this earth now, other than my dad, possibly my brother. Still not too sure about that one though. I may be really oversharing. I'm not quite sure if I'm oversharing too much, but I am just in such a happy place now. And I feel like this is gonna be a really weird thing to say, but I feel like every girl should be cheated on <laughs> at least once in their life because 
it actually makes you a better person and it's made me stronger as a person and it's made me like love myself more and value myself and everything I put everything I put time into despite the trauma it has left me with and the hate I now have for that person which I never wanted to have I am so much better off now like it's obviously not a nice way for a relationship to end but that relationship needed to end like it really did I feel like at the time of the breakup like I thought no like we need to try again like things will get better I'm so glad we didn't try again so glad because we just obviously weren't each other's people but it's just a ooh, it's just a shame that he needed to betray me like that and what makes it even worse is it was someone that he worked with despite him being paranoid about me at work that is exactly why he was paranoid about me at work because he knew the shit that he was up to at work so he's literally gonna hate me for this if he ever sees this but he knew i'd do youtube he knew i do youtube he he knew i did youtube what did you expect like it was always gonna come oh it was always gonna come out one way or another and now is just the time where i feel like i needed to talk about it everyone i'm closest to now knows everyone i cared, cared about knows when i first find out, found out i didn't tell anyone for like two no was it like two months maybe a month because i was so embarrassed so embarrassed that i thought this guy was such an angel and would never do a single thing wrong to me and i wanted to process it myself like i, had, I didn't even tell my mom and then as i gradually started telling the people closest to me it started to feel better i started to feel better and now i'm like why didn't i just say something sooner but like i said everyone deals with things differently and there's no right or wrong way of dealing with it you just learn about how to deal with it if it's to ever happen again i fucking hope i don't get cheated on again because it really isn't nice but now i know if i was to have another breakup how i would then deal with that differently because this one got dragged out so much like i was in pain for way too long but now i literally couldn't be happier i have the best friends in the world i have the best family in the world i have the best job in the world and i'm going on holiday soon so everything's great but this is for the girls that have been cheated on like recently it gets better like it really does when you have a breakup or you get cheated on the first few weeks are literally the worst and people will always say to you like time's the best healer and all that it actually is like there is not one single part of me now that feels hurt at all like i'm literally numb to it now and i think that's why i'm okay finally actually talking about it i think being cheated on just once like like a kiss or a one night stand that i do think that that's different i feel like that is more forgivable like it's obviously still not right at all but there's that kind of cheating and then there's cheating that's like consistent cheating like there's actually something behind it which in this one there was because it was two months and it was in my home my bed and he was consistently hiding my stuff and hiding the fact that he was having this girl over and i don't know how he hid his phone and hid the messages like it actually baffles me it scares me because it makes you think you truly will never ever know someone fully ever like i thought i was clever clearly not because i did not see that come in like it was such a shock i was like sorry what but since the breakup like i've literally been fully focused on work trying to do everything i can at work to make my career actually go in the direction that i want it to and then dating wise i'm not gonna lie i have not been on one single date in seven months since wait when did we break up end of feb march april may june july august like six and a half months i've not been on a single date what i just don't want to put my time into someone that's not worth my time and that's a lie i literally have no time <laughs> i literally work go to the gym 
see my friends as much as possible because oh my god they are just angels i love them so much and whenever i'm with them i just feel so happy like i'm happy in my own company as well that's also something i've learned i can be on my own like i feel so good on my own in my own company because i was with my ex for like two and a half years that was two and a half years of us being on top of each other every single day like there was barely a moment where I had time on my own and before my relationship I was such an independent person I literally spent so much time on my own and with my friends and then got into a relationship and you kind of lose that and I feel like everyone goes through that kind of stage within relationships where you lose touch with your friends not lose touch but you drift and don't realize that they're the ones that are the most important things and people to be with and since being on my own again i've realized my friends are my most favorite company in the world and my family and every time i'm with them like it's just like belly laughing like to the point where i can't breathe and then i've got my closest friend at work as well he's not even like my work friend now like he is literally one of my best friends jardel just shout you out he has had such an impact on my life since meeting him like i met him when i first started at selfridges we started at the same time and he is one of the most important people that i have met through my whole life like you know when you just click with someone he's just amazing and he has helped me a lot through this because when you're at work you don't really have time to see your friends as much so he's been the person that's kept me okay in the day through work and i appreciate him you so much so so much sorry i'm getting all soppy now but you just need to remember your friends don't lose touch with your friends within relationships because when those relationships are over what are you gonna do if your friends are no longer there and i'm just so lucky that i had all my friends around me and as soon as i started actually explaining what had happened instead of keeping it to myself everything just got easier so don't keep things to yourself like as much as you're trying to be a strong person you need other people like it's human nature like you need other people and i love my friends and my family basically i've gone so off track i don't even know what i was saying um i've put time into my oh dating yep not been on a single date because i want the next person i actually put a lot of time into to absolutely sweep me off my feet <laughs> and that's a difficult thing to do i get bored very easy and i think in my last relationship i got comfortable and i don't ever want to feel like that again like i don't necessarily want to feel scared that they're gonna oh why is that one dark i don't necessarily want to feel like scared that they're gonna go somewhere but i feel like you need that excitement in a relationship and i just want to be like oh my god i want to squeeze your face off that's how i want to feel and i've just not had that yet I do feel like my workplace is quite a good place to meet people because obviously there's footfall every single day. Like you see new people every single day and Birmingham is a fairly big city. But it's like, am I ever going to meet someone where I think you're not going to do what my ex did to me? I know that's something you can't take into other relationships and talking stages and situationships. But it is something that's always going to stick with me, obviously. But I've just got to learn to think that not everyone is like that but yeah since the breakup i have had probably seven guys try to talk to me that are in relationships <laughs> another reason why i don't trust men like i've obviously spoke to people here and there but i'm just not feeling like yeah and i don't know if it's because i'm so happy in myself and so happy around my friends i want to feel like i do with my friends with my next partner or next thing like i actually want to feel like myself and i feel like i really lost myself in my previous relationship like completely i was miserable for quite a while and didn't realize until i was out of that i want to be able to laugh the way i do with jardel kira Liv, eve like and my parents like the laughs i have with my parents and my brother i want to be able to have that because I think I'm fucking funny. And if you can't laugh at what I'm saying, please leave. And all my friends and my family are funny too. So you need to be able to compete with that. Not compete, but keep up. And hinge as well. I honestly, I refuse and refuse and refuse to download that app. 
but John L was like, Grace, just do it. Like, if you're bored, just do it. Like, it's funny. Useless. Useless fucking app. <laughs> it's so bad. I think for the for like a month or so it was quite funny like scrolling through like liking people and having random conversations but i cannot keep up a conversation with someone that i've never met in person because there's no no like physical attraction or anything that i can gauge through the phone i am much more subject to i don't even know if i've used the right word meeting someone in person first and then starting to talk to them because i've had that first initial attraction and flirting or like you can feel whether the other person is attracted to you or not and then have the conversations on message after then i can keep interested and engaged in a conversation if i'm matching with you on hinge and having a conversation from there i get bored and i've not had one successful conversation from hinge <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm still on it. But I literally have not been on, on it on it. Uh, uh, I've not been on it in that long. All my conversations have, have moved to hidden. Like if you've got a hinge, you'll know what I mean. They've all moved to hidden because I've literally left it for that long. But I've always been a person to be like, no, not getting a dating app, not doing it. But I just got bored. So that's this is the thing, like I am a person that when I'm bored, I make bad decisions. Which isn't entirely bad because bad decisions make great stories. And I think that was a quote that I saw in Marbella. Like, why not? Can you see this tattoo? Why fucking not? I remember having Tinder before my previous relationship and I had some right laughs on there. Like, me and Kira just would sit in the car for hours just laughing and swiping. Like, it was just great. But also, all my friends have boyfriends. I'm the only single one in the group. So I am living my single life for every single one of them and bringing them stories to entertain them because they're wifed up. I was always the one in the friendship group though that just wouldn't have a boyfriend <laughs> because I'm just, I'm not crazy, but I am just very independent and comfortable in myself I don't need a man but a man would be nice to entertain me sometimes so guys i am ready to receive cvs for someone that wants to take up the last two hours of my evenings and maybe a little bit of my day off jokes aside though i have a very busy life not busy i'm just always working and I would need someone to be able to understand work is very important to me. I am that person. But I am ready to be swept off my feet. Not love bombed. I hate that shit. I feel like my ex love bombed me because I was young and vulnerable. That shit's never happening again. Like, I can read someone from a mile off now. I'm a very good reader of people especially men i've had my fair share of experiences that's making me sound really bad not in that way i've just experienced different people i don't even know where this video has gone i'm not gonna lie i'm probably gonna sit and edit this like what the fuck are you going on about grace and why have you told the internet that much there is a lot more I could say and a lot more I want to say, but there's certain things I do want to keep private. So I've literally only told you minor details. I got cheated on, um, went through a lot of trauma for a fair few months because it was breakup, trying to deal with the breakup, found out about them cheating, um, tried to deal with that and then cut them off. Should have cut them off from the fucking breakup, but... Honestly, since the cut off, oh my god, I'm a new person. Why on earth did I not do that sooner? Best thing ever. So happy. And it can only get better now, I hope. I feel like things can only go up from here. But yeah, my advice, just do no contact. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't just do no contact from the start. Because I would have been healed a lot quicker. Um, I don't know if there's a lot more to catch up on. Like That was like the major thing. Um, work is still going well. Got to keep working on it. I'm now 23 as well, if you haven't watched my birthday vlog. I've been going gym, like, every single day. Sorry, Stairmaster is unreal. Favourite machine ever. And I'm eating... Uh, I'm not even going to say I'm eating slightly better. I'm not. Really not. 
the apartment thing as well that I mentioned in my last video. Is my boob out? I am looking at moving, but that's going to be a slower process. I just want to move closer to work because I spend so much on commuting. It's an absolute joke. And for ages, I've wanted my own apartment, my own space, even if it's just six months. But I'm debating whether to rent for six months to see how it is or to straight up buy um sorry my camera overheated that's never happened before because i used to have a cannon and the cannon didn't do that but i was saying i don't know whether to rent for six months to see how it is or whether to straight up buy an apartment but it's going to take a while to find the one that i want i'm talking really fast because i need to switch my camera off but yeah if you have any more questions i can do like a further q a but i was just rambling and probably didn't say anything in the right order i should have done a notes thing to say things in order because i don't know if i've pardon me i don't know if i've missed stuff off but we will see when i edit Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like I need to do more videos like this because I just feel all cosy and I feel f refreshed and a weight has been lifted off my shoulders and I can't wait to go on holiday. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on my socials and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.